My name is Wallace, um, producer name is Wallace C. Been making beats for like four or five years, I don't know. I'm originally from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. I have been in Melbourne for like four years, making beats and making music in general. Involved with Beat Lab and Lab Code. Brazilian music is, is driving me a lot of my inspiration. Like I bring, um, it's it's quite fluent and, and natural for me. Like just you know have that shape background or whatever Brazilian elements I can get. Especially since uh, I have been living overseas, for me it's just like bring back the roots for me myself and make me feel you know better. It's like connect. I would say connect with my roots. I do play drums a little bit. And um, I go um, really spontaneous on keys. But drums, I think drums is my instrument, like percussion. Yeah, I always start with drums, like if I want to make a beat, it's just like the drums will drive my creativity. It's like hi-hats, kicks, snares, just the thing, make me like inspired a lot. Since my first album, I always have some kind of direction. And uh, I think it's important for me. It, it helps me with organizing organizations and direction as well otherwise I just go random like just experimenting like doing boom bap trap for work whatever you know so if I want to release something I definitely establish like a concept yeah exercise is important as well so like go in the gym in the morning and make beats it's like pretty cold I'm not healthy but like yeah that's you know I don't want to sound like <laughs> I do exercise all the time but yeah just a normal producer kind of routine, like rainy day, you just spend time making beats. Yeah. My first show was on Beat Lounge, which is a perfect version of Beat Live. And I was, I don't know, 25 producers playing like 10 minutes. It was a showcase, 10 minutes. And um, that was pretty much what drive me to actually develop my style and then keep going make beats. They, they were doing every month. Shout out Ray, um, he's in Perth, he's a dope guy. Um, the event and concept. So moved to Melbourne and I found like I don't have that bit lounge yet. So me and Alden Clay we created a bit lounge. Yeah. I do Fresh Produce, which is a PBS show on Saturdays. I have been doing it for three years and a half. It's a hip hop show um, focused for I think production mainly. It's really good for me searching for music every week. It just keep me up to date with what's going on. Electric electrician is pretty cool. Um, that was always on workshop, I guess, yeah? Um, it's a really nice venue for beats. I'm excited for the new concept, yeah? It's gonna attract people from different medias and different niches as well, not just produ uh, producers. I think that's that's pretty cool. Like, how that producer collaborate with the animation, who will make that happen? People will be interested to know, like, who was involved and who's behind of that image. It's yeah, nice way to integrate that two medias, which is the way people do it these days. And you guys do it ever. It's cool. Yeah, inspiration comes from here too. Watching people's life. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Important, like get out of the house I guess for production. Walk around the neighborhood and you know, do your thing, have a coffee. Come here, I, I work Monday to Friday, so mainly Saturdays and Sundays sometimes. I came here and I had a coffee. When I was writing lyrics, I had a lot of inspiration for like being in the city and watching people, but with beats, there's not much in that way anymore. Like walking the bush or whatever, going to the beach, it's really inspirational. It's pretty lame, but it's true. Yeah, it's so true, like, be outside of your house and be connected with nature. I think when I was in high school, I just met friends who were involved with music, a bit more. And then that kind of drives me for music. And um, they had a rock band and stuff, and I was just like watching reversals and... And um, that's probably a secret thing, but I was in a rock band as well. That's, that's, that's all I want to say. <laughs> See your, your music navigate in different places make me proud a lot, yeah. The status on, on on the social media telling you like three players from Budapest. 
<laughs> three players from like Berlin or whatever. That, that's pretty cool. That's I like to see the music going different places. That makes me proud. Playing your music and then it's a time you spend design sounds and design music, creating music, and you got audience. So you're gonna like bring it up that universe, your own universe on the stage. So it's really common you just like oh you know that self-critical or whatever. I think they always got that Diego kind of butterfly thing going on. Especially the first five minutes on the stage. I think so, yeah. I was doing a lot of live sets when I come to Melbourne because I connect with Able 8 from a comfortable beats. I remember being really concentrated on what I was doing, like that. Like my head was free. But then I I think you like look what's going on and make you relax and I like to connect, I like to know who's around, even like on my side of the booth, like producers, like with me or like whatever. I think I, I want to develop a little bit more interesting live set as well. I think I want to create like a good setup when I can bring like drums and all different elements um, for live set. I think that's my goal for now, trying try to first collaborate with people a little bit more and then do like a engaging live set. I did animate my beats before using um, Final Cut. Um, that was hard. But it's the first time I have collaborated with people like uh, animator. I'm excited to see what's going on. It's really interesting to see someone interpretation of your music as well like with animation or whatever, even like opinion, someone like that big mind is like, whatever, beach. So I think with the animator, um, I mean, curious to know like what he's gonna come up. Um abraço pra galera aí do Brasil, uh, todos os meus amigos aí do Brasil. É, esse vídeo é voltado para uma galera que faz produção aqui em Melbourne e a galera que trabalha com animação, eles combinam as duas coisas num evento só. Então fica ligado aí que a gente está tá envolvido nisso tudo aí. Um abraço para todo mundo. Valeu!